Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman. Learn some catch YouTube grappling, some Greco Roman wrestling, some all grappling. You got to put it all together. Talking about uh, Greco and killing the underhook and snapping a guy down, getting that snap down to front headlock position. Me and Dave here, if we're just hand fighting, we're fighting out here. I'm just going to look to snap him. Okay. Now I can snap him, club him here to the far armpit, which is what most people do, or you can snap and bowling ball him to the other direction, which really discombobulates him. And he's not, like, if you snap a guy a regular way, a good wrestler's going to just take that to shoot in on a double leg. So sometimes I do snap a guy. If we're hand fighting, coming in here, boom, I got this. But other times I'm going to snap him and come here. And from there I'm looking at chin grip and either T-Rex this arm or underhook for a cow catcher cobra neck crank. And snap the guy down. Then I'm going to work from there on my front headlock, position stuff, chokes, everything else. Okay? Um, in Greco, a guy is going to want a high underhook. He's going to shoot in here, and he's loading. His hips are under you, and he's going to drive in and get head position and be coming, 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 and looking for here. If he doesn't he throw his wizard in, boom, I'm going to shut here and give him a ride. Okay, from the side, from the back, duck under, whatever the situation is, because he didn't throw his wizard, his overhooking. But you guys got to know that this position, okay, uh, a few months ago in Thailand, I was training the Mirak Bari. Greco Roman champion, 135 yoked kilogram, 135 kilogram, like 275 pounds of pure muscle. He gets this on you, sits are under, he's driving with this leg, we're hand fighting, we're in here, we're in head position. He's got a lot of options. Okay? At some point if the hand fighting goes back, boom, boom. Okay? An MMA you can use that position great to drive to the cage and need the liver from there. So you have to know how to kill that position. So if Dave comes in with a high underhook here, and he's in here, number one, I want to put a tight wizard in, hand or fist, make space. I can monitor with my knee and bump, and we can be fighting here this game. And I'd like to get head position back and drive in here on him. Okay, so number one is that. If he comes in on me and he gets that big underhook here, i got to be fighting inside position here. Head control and wizard. Arm control, whether we're looking for bicep or wrist, we're going to both be fighting for inside position head position and make space with that tight wizard. Okay, that's number one. Number two, if a guy's head is ever down, there's a huge difference between here and here. You always want to wrestle with a strong neck. It doesn't look like much, it's only like two inches, but it makes a huge difference in my structure. So if Dave comes in, but his head's kind of low, which is good for driving, and it's good for a certain amount of control, but if I can clear this arm, I can roll it out of that C-grip, I can then snap him down because his head's low. So even if he's driving me in, I can take that energy and snap him here. Drive him back. And snap from there. Over neck and cow catcher. Okay, and all kinds of stuff from there. You want to be able to snap and move and go from there. So one more time. He's got the position. And we're here and he's driving into me, driving into me, driving into me. Boom. See? And now I can work whatever I'm going to work from there. Okay? Um, some people have... A, Big, huge guy can control that wrist. So if I can't clear this, and he's this, but his head's kind of low, I can take this wizard out, limp arm this, and club him, and snap here, okay? So, give me some energy. So he's coming, 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 coming. Here, looking for that turn right away, or snap down, cow catcher, whatever. So, guys, that's how you have to kill that underhook, above and beyond that, always someone's got underhooks and fighting or wrestling, or it's MMA, or it's a grappling tournament. I got this, okay, I got the elbow crank, John Jones style, here, here. If I want to take him down, I can sweep or knee bump. Or here, wrestling, I feel it. There's a V-arm lock elbow crank, I can head tilt him and take him back from that. Uh, also, if he's kind of in here, but Narrow on the underhook, like I managed to block the underhook out with my, my C grip. So we're fighting with pummeling, whatever. And he's kind of digging that in. If I can keep him blocked out, now I can also do an elbow break. MMA, boom. So I can turn him, I can snap that elbow for, or the forearm, compound fracture, put it into a hit. So you guys should be aware of this stuff too. Boom, boom. Or elbow crank stuff. Boom, boom. Sorry. If it's uh, deeper, then it's. If it's deeper, then it's. 
elbow crank in. Or elbow crank, get him up on his tiptoes, right here. And then maybe I still got the solution. Okay. So anyway, guys, kill that underhook. You got to know the position. This is simple stuff, stuff that all grapplers should drill. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.